Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I'm bringing you a video of my top favourite toys from 2020. Um, this isn't a select, this isn't a strict number. These are just uh, my my favourite toys which I've unboxed this year, which I got this year, purchased this year, and unboxed them this year. They actually came out this year. These are my favourites. Um, as you know, 2020 was a very difficult year for everyone. Um, it did affect you know the toy community quite well, quite badly because obviously Comic Con was cancelled. Um, there we have all the other events, you know. We were expecting to hear about, you know, hear toy news, everything was uh, called off, which was an absolute shame. So the last big one was um, Toy Fair, at, in back, way back in uh, February of last year, which was a very good event. I didn't attend or anything, but I did love all the reveals. And um, I have to say, 2020 has been, we have been sport for choice for toys this year. Uh, what with the uh, announcement of the G.I. Joe line, the, the release, the announcement and release of the G.I. Joe line, which I've only got the Cobra Command, the Supreme Cobra Command at the moment. The brilliant Black Series releases this year. We've had so many fantastic Black Series figures this year. It's been absolutely incredible. I've, I've been blown away. And of course, as well, in the corner here, you can see um, the release of the um, McFarlane Toys um, Spawn from Mortal Kombat 11. I was very, very happy with that one. So, yeah, this year has been, uh, been terrific for releases. Uh, back there, you can see as well, got Doctor Doom hidden away. Uh, that was a really good. Uh, that was a really, really good wave of um, fantastic, fantastic four figures. You had all the figures in the wave. You had Doctor Doom, the brand new Doctor Doom, which is awesome. Check out the review I've got on this channel and the She Hulk, which you can see just over there. She is a fantastic figure. That was a really, really good wave. Uh, I should also mention honorable mention to the um, the thing figure in that wave because I was I uh, did manage to find. All the other members of the Fantastic Four from Walgreens. I found uh, Johnny Storm, Sue Storm, Reed Richards, but I could never find um, Ben Grimm the thing. So I was over the moon when they released the whole Fantastic Four team along with the Doctor Doom figure, which is the best Doctor Doom figure ever made, and the um, the She-Hulk figure, absolutely incredible. So I was very, very happy to pick those up earlier in this year. I know some people picked them up in uh, 2019, but I found them in 2020 and I was over the moon, I got the whole wave. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you can get still get some of the figures, but I believe that the um, the, the, the uh, Doctor Doom and the She Hulk and the Thing are the hardest ones to pick up. Uh, speaking of the subject of Marvel Legends, another one I did you can see here on the shelf is uh, on display is the deluxe release of War Machine. That was an incredible figure. It was simply incredible. I absolutely adore that figure. I pre-ordered it. Very very happy with it. One of the best uh, Marvel Legends eight, uh, figures they've released this year. I haven't picked that many Marvel Legends released this year. I think my, my big year is because obviously the, this year was the 40th anniversary for Star, for Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. I've been mostly picking up um, Star Wars Black Series figures. And there's still some releases from this year, from 2020, that I still need to, well, want to get like the um, Cosmic Ghost Rider, the Punisher Rider set... Um, I want to pick up those. Uh, they're, 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 they're the two big ones I really want to get uh, from the Marvel Legends line. Uh, some of the figures have been really good, but nothing, no wave has really attempted, you know, tempted me yet. But I do love the look of the Into the Spider Verse wave. That looks absolutely incredible. Really want to pick up those figures because I, I do really adore that film. So Marvel Legends is on to a strong start. And as you can see at the front here, I've got loads and loads, quite a number of the uh, Black Series figures released this year. They've done a phenomenal job with the Black Series figures um, this year. Uh, gone above and beyond. Like here, back here, you can see Count Dooku. I'll just bring him out just so you can have a closer look. This is one of my absolute favorite figures of the year. The likeness to Christopher Lee is uncanny on this figure. It's absolutely incredible. For a $20 or a £20 figure, the likeness to Christopher Lee is amazing. I really, really do love it. Really, really nice. It's well worth getting. I know this is quite... You can't get it so easily at the moment. But Star Action Figures are re-releasing this figure later this year. So if you missed out on Count Dooku, you have a second chance to get him later this year. Well worth getting. The likeness is great. The accessories are really good. I absolutely adore this um, Black Series figure of Count Dooku. It's absolutely incredible. Especially this... I know people have the SH Figure Arts and say... This, the uh, Black Series one is much better in likeness and articulation and more so than that one, which is a really expensive toy, and this one's a $20, $20 one, so well worth getting. Um, really, really do dig the Count Dooku figure. I do love that one. It's one of my favourites. Um, of course, in the corner here, you can see the deluxe release of... I think it's one of the few deluxe releases they did this year, was the um, deluxe release of... The Dagobah Luke and Yoda set. 
I really, really wanted to get this, obviously being a big fan of Empire Strikes Back. Uh, it was a must-have for me, still widely available, still can get it. Really, really nice, uh, really good likeness to Mark Hamill. Uh, more size-accurate Yoda, and the, uh, the paint on it's really, really good. Uh, really do think it comes with loads of accessories as well. Still widely available, still one of the best releases from last year. I'm still tempted to get the single-carded uh, vintage version, just to keep on the card. Um, also back here, I'm not sure if you can see it too well, he's hidden behind the Cobra Commander, and he's hidden behind... Um, Han Solo looks like I'm going to move Han Solo out of the way that back there is the Hoth Rebel Trooper that's a great army builder they re-recently released that in wave 27 to 28 I can't believe, I can't remember which wave it is that is an absolutely fantastic figure I've only got two uh, I've got this one here out of package and I've got one in package but in, in, on the um, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes back card uh, I'm still need to pick up but I want to pick up a few more of these to go with my um, Hoth Rebel stuff you know to build up my Hoth dioramas and set and setups so very very happy with that one uh, also you can see here as well uh, keep it to the Empire Strikes Back. I have the Hoff, um, I mean, the Hoff uh, uh, Snow Speeder Pilot Luke Skywalker figure. This is one of my favourite figures of last year. It is absolutely incredible. I absolutely adore this thing. This figure is incredible. I've got the single card release. They've also did this, released this in the recent wave, uh, wave 26. I think I'm not too sure it was a prior wave before the recent ones just come out. Um, I've got one here. I've got one on vintage card. I would like to get another one uh, because I do plan on picking up, uh, as you know, you can imagine, 2020 has been a difficult year. One thing I wanted to pick up this year was the um, Snow Speeder for the you know, for Hoff. You know, came with uh, DAC. I really wanted to get it. I haven't, as of yet, been able to afford it, obviously, because money's tight. You know, 2020 was you know tight for money, so I'm still one thing I'm looking to get. Um, this year I'm picking up, so I'm going to get a third one as well to display with that, or inside and have this one outside with his lightsaber. And oh, I really want to pick that up, but I do adore this figure. Just the sculpt, the paint, the articulation, the likeness to Mark Hamill is fantastic. Highly, highly recommended. I absolutely adore this figure. Um, of course, around here I've got the two Endor. I recently reviewed the Endor, Han, and Leia uh, together. Uh, these were released in the Heroes of Endor set. I really, really uh, wanted to pick up the Heroes of Endor set. Obviously, it went out, um, sold out very quickly. But I did know prior beforehand that they'll be releasing the Endor figures, which are the Endor, Leia, Han, and Luke, separately in the upcoming wave, which they did. I've reviewed all three of them. Uh, very, very happy with these figures, especially the um, Han Solo, because we haven't had too many... Um, uh, photo reel uh, Han Solo figures compared to say Luke Skywalker so it's nice to get another Han Solo with the fo face printing text it looks like Harrison Ford very very happy with that um, really do dig this figure um, it was he, with, uh, also with the layer is absolutely excellent as well the likeness to Carrie Fisher is fantastic and what I like about these two figures is essentially you need to get two because you can have a figure of Leia without the helmet without the poncho on with her outfit beneath with the gun and the belt on and with just the hand so you can just take the, the belt off I mean, take the coat off, and you got his two looks from the um, return. Well, two main looks from Return of the Jedi. So um, <laughs> quite sneaky there, Hasbro. Quite tempting to get another one. So I do dig that. Um, speak going back to Marvel Legends, uh, as this year was also the twenty. Well, I should say last year was the twentieth anniversary for X Men. So uh, to celebrate the anniversary, Marvel Legends has released a number of um, X Men uh, themed movie figures. As you can see on this channel, I've already reviewed the Cable. I really did like we didn't make the list didn't make the cut and also the two wolverines i've got the uh, x-men origins wolverines here got the, the standard release and the amazon release absolutely fantastic figures do dig these a lot i'm hoping we see more of these uh down the line i know these are a bit more expensive they're about 20 well uh star action figures had these for about 21 or 22 pound a bit more than your standard uh marvel legends but considering all the, the unique sculpts and you know two of them and uh, more paint deco uh, it does justify justify the price point so i'm very very happy with these um want to see more of them hopefully down the line i've still got my <laughs> deadpool and negasonic teenage warhead um to um to to um to unbox but i'm not sure if i'll review them or not because everyone their grandmother has reviewed them on this website but you know i want to unbox them have them on display as well because they are fantastic figures so i'm hoping you know we see more of these um uh, fox figures and hopefully now because um also, they have the rights to, well, Sony Spider-Man. Hopefully, we'll see some uh, similar uh, figures 
akin to these for Spider Man, like that from the Sam Raimi film. So, hopefully, we'll see something like that down the line as well. I wouldn't be surprised if we do, because you no know, nostalgia is pretty big, and obviously Hasbro have done a fantastic job on these. I'd love to see the line uh, shed into the other stuff as well. Maybe a Wesley Snipes blade figure down the line. Yeah, you never know. Anyway, I hope to see more of these because they are really, really excellent. Highly recommended. Um, going back to Black Series, back here, you know, see I've got Cad Bane. Can't see him too well, but he is an absolutely phenomenal figure. Um, I do love the Clone Wars stuff that Hasbro are doing for the Black Series. We've got um, Cad Bane. We're also getting a Sarge of Interest next year. Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian. Uh, well, she was in Clone Wars, but also Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. We're also getting the Bad Batch as well. I still need to pick up quite a lot of the prequel stuff. I do because I, I still need to pick up some quite of the stuff in the like the, the um, Anakin, Obi Wan, and Plo Koon and Kit Fisto wave. I still want to pick up those. Um, still widely available, thankfully, but I'm definitely going to get those soon. So I'll be able to fill out my um, prequel stuff. Um, of course, here as well. To, still to keeping on the subject of Hasbro, because you can see here, ninety percent of the figures are from Hasbro. Is the uh, Snake Supreme Code Commander that was meant to be an SDC exclusive uh, this year? It was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive? Thankfully, Star Action Figures got it in. I managed to snag one. Very very happy with it. At this time of recording, it is my only G.I. Joe classified collection figure I've got in my collection at the moment. Um, I've got um, I unfortunately because I've tight budgets i missed out on the original release of um wave one of the uh, which had uh, snake eyes and duke i've got snake eyes on pre-order he should be coming sometime soonish uh i've got also uh looking out to get zartan i've also got um firefly and the cobra viper um you know, on pre-order as well so i'm hoping you know, i really do love this gi joe line it's just been an absolute pain to get and i know it's equally as a problem in America with um, the Cobra Island being target exclusives and a lot of collectors struggling to find them which has been an utter shame because you know the figures are excellent and it's just an absolute pain to find them and I'm hoping you know Star Action figures get some like the Cobra Trooper the Baroness with the bike backing because I really want to get those because I've heard great things about them and after getting this um, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander in hand, I really want to get more of them. So I'm hoping to get a wider release, downline or re-release, because I, I, I want. <laughs> I'm not. I was. I was too young to to watch GI Joe, um, but I do love the six inch line. The figures, they, the, the designs are great. The articulation is great. It's, you know, the accessories are really good. I really want to see more. So I'm. I'm really excited. You know, to see the more GI Joe figures come in 2021. Uh, talking the sub. Uh, Getting off Hasbro now. <laughs> Finally, away from Hasbro here, we've got my um, move the camera out just a bit. Here, I've got the um, Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. This is the first fully articulated spawn figure, and it's absolutely superb. I absolutely adore this thing. Um, I was had a hard time getting it because they originally had the sword release on the sword. I could not find that anywhere for the love of money. I couldn't get anywhere in the UK. Um, just when the coronavirus epidemic hit um i couldn't find get the snake i couldn't get on the sword at all i had a hard time finding it on the likes of ebay as well and other sites had a really hard time but thankfully they uh early this last late last year i managed to get one with, the, with uh, for a reason very reason price with the mace and i'm very very happy with it it's an absolutely incredible looking figure um they've done a really bang up job uh with um spawn and i'm really excited to see more spawn figures i'm a bit annoyed i missed out on the kickstarter which i wanted to do you know it's like for that um kickstarter for the classic spawn but unfortunately I missed out on that this year a lot I mean, last year so hopefully i might do another one or a general re-release of, of a bait of a sort of not more of a generic spawn but i do love this one um the, the more combat level one because i'd love to design of him in more combat level of course as well he's voiced by keith david you know who voiced him in the animated series so I, I really do love that figure and i'm hoping we see some more articulated spawn figs i'm excited for the line excited for the future of the mortal combat line especially that shao khan looks great and some of the other ones really want to get as well so i'm excited for that and hope we see some more great toys from mcfarland toys this year uh finally on to NECA, as you can see here uh, just behind here, I've got Mike McFly uh, from uh, Necker's, you know, Necker's Ultimate Back to the Future line. Um, they, they're covering, as far as I know, they're going to do all three films. I've only got, um, at the moment, got the 85 Martin McFly, and I've reviewed it for this channel. It's an absolutely fantastic looking figure. I uh, really do, do, do love it a lot. I'm still um, keeping my eyes peeled on getting a uh, 2015 Martin McFly, the um, Biff Tannen and the Doc Brown, which is about to come out sometime in America, 
later this month. I'm not too sure when we get it in the UK, obviously, because they have bad everything. I'm not too sure when we're going to get it. But I do love it a lot. Uh, this figure of uh, Mike McFly, a lot's got me really excited for the other figures in the line. Also, to see what other ones we get. Really, really do dig that figure. You can still guide, widely get that one on Star Action figures, along with most of these figures. You can still uh, get pretty much most of these. Um, I have picked up some other figures this year. Um, like, well, let's just say last year. I'm getting, getting confused because it's only 2021. Um, no, I managed to pick up all the figure get gradually all the figures in the NECA TMNT 1990 Series 2. Uh, I've all got all the characters now. I've got the um, the melee foot soldier, the bladed weapon foot soldier. Um, also got um, Splinter and Shredder. And I've also picked up the NECA Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise 2-pack as well. I haven't included them because I haven't unboxed them. And I'm thinking of planning to do a video probably sometime uh, later this year, probably within the next month or so, is do a big video on the uh, TMNT 1990 figures I've got so far. Uh, I know they're going to plan to release one. I know, I know there's a plan to release an April O'Neill in the line. Uh, I would like to see that as well. I do love the NECA TMNT stuff, so expect the video on that on this channel sometime soon. Uh, but uh, speaking of the TMNT line, I'm a bit disappointed that I, could, uh, that I missed out on, due to lack of funds, the... Um, uh, the accessory set, which I really did like the look of the interchangeable heads for the turtles and those accessories would have been really cool. And I missed out on the Taco and Razor 2 pack as well, which I'm, I'm pretty miffed off, you know, pretty miffed, miffed because obviously I didn't have the funds at the time, it was a, a limited window. It's not NECA's fault because they made them, you know, on demand, but I'm hoping that they re release them sometime down the line, uh, even if it's a year or two or whatever. I would love to, you know, to get those because I missed out on those and. I would hope to see they get a re release because obviously I missed out of time because I didn't have the funds for them, which is a shame. Uh, anyway, but uh, for most, as, as for most collectors, 2020 has been a difficult year of you know, deciding what you wanted to get. You know, if you had limited funds like myself, it was very hard to decide what you wanted to get, what you had to skip, you miss out. And it's always a problem with, 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 with this hobby. If you miss out on something, you never know how long it's going to be around for before it sells out, which I've seen uh, with happened with the uh, back series, like with the Moff Gideon, that's already gone. And, you know, hoping I want to, I really want to get a Moff Gideon because I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian and big, the second series was awesome. So, uh, you know, it's, it's it, 2020 has been a bit of a difficult year for collecting, if you, you know, if you had limited funds on yourself, you know, you haven't had the money for everything, you know, it's been a bit, a bit of a pain, but I, overall, I'm very, very happy with what I picked up in 2020, I'm, you know, it's some of the best figures that have been released in years, you know, got released last year, so I'm over the moon with those, and I'm really, really excited to see what figures are coming out later this year, I know, I know roughly what we've got coming out, but I'm really excited, you know, to see what's coming, you know, I plan to hopefully, when things get better, I'll probably picking up a lot more things so you probably expect <laughs> maybe a um, top 10 videos from different like say top 10 Marvel Legends top 10 uh, Black Series NECA releases I'll probably do something like that next year or no, this year you know if, if we can manage to pick up more figures anyway guys I hope you like this overview of uh, my, my favourite toys from 2020 please like share and subscribe and bye for now